What's going on everybody, Dreamcast84, you know the whole bit. So, hey, what's this video about? Well, this video is about Yu Suzuki's game works. Now, as we all know, Yu Suzuki is the man responsible for Shenmue. Shenmue is an awesome, ambitious game that pretty much encapsulates everything that is Yu Suzuki. This is a little coffee table book. And this is just an excellent little picture book. It has just very high quality, great photos of arcade cabinets, like old used arcade cabinets, like prototypes, drawings, uh, office stuff. Uh, you know, it just really kind of gives you a good little glimpse into Yu Suzuki's career. And yeah, it, you know, it, Yu Suzuki, the. Sega is like other guys for other companies. He's that go-to guy. He's the legendary uh, visionary, you know. Um, it, this game, it, this book is packaged with the game, of course, and the games that are packaged with it are Hang On, Space Harrier, Outrun, Afterburner 2, Power Drift, and, yeah, to kind of keep up with the video, hopefully, um, you know, I can kind of just leaf through the book and tell you. I, I want this intro to be somewhat long because of the number of photos. And I want to show the photos pretty good. But uh, Shimu 3 is coming out. And I'm not sure what the, uh, you know timetable is or whatever if they keep postponing it that is fine with me because I want the best version of Shinmu. now um, Shinmu 1 and 2 they cover multiple chapters and I have no idea if they're just going to end the whole series with Shinmu 3 which I kind of hope they do because I think Yu Suzuki needs to kind of rest on his laurels he had a very great career at Sega I mean uh, the mini games that you can play in this game, you can't play every single one of them in Shinmu, but you can play most of them. You can play uh, Space Harrier, Hang On, and later on in Shinmu 2, you can play Afterburner 2, and I'm not so sure about Outrun. Uh, Power Drift is not included with Shinmu 1 or 2, but Power Drift is kind of cool uh, it's it, it's a really good 3d little jammy um yeah we're talking about uh hang on you probably I'm you're probably past me with all the uh, photos but uh hang on uh, I love hang on I, I was playing hang on on uh, on Shinmu one and I was addicted to it but the controls are kind of wonky where you push left or right on the d-pad and you go you oversteer if the steering was a little bit more tweaked, I'd love Hang On a little bit more. Uh, Space Harrier's cool. It's just a, a really wild and imaginative game. Um, Outrun is really cool. Um, they, a lot of people grew up playing Outrun because those cabinets, I just remember seeing a lot of those cabinets growing up. So I remember, you know, San Francisco Rush and stuff like that too. You'd see those all, all around the place. Afterburner. Um, I never really got crazy into Afterburner, but it's it's cool to have game variety, you know. And the pictures of the game cabinets and stuff, they're really interesting and cool. And, you know, I just think this book is really cool. I really think that uh, having a retail copy of Yu Suzuki Game Works is just kind of a, you know, rare piece. I scooped it up before it got crazy. Yeah, he's he's the man responsible for Virtual Fighter. Basically, um, you know, he's just a visionary. He's a cool guy. Um, I never met the guy myself, but, uh, you know, Shinmu is really cool. And I think that a lot of people don't appreciate Shinmu because they'll just dismiss the controls or something. But um, I don't know. If you, if you just, uh, you know, look past uh, moving Ryu with the D-pad <laughs> and just get immersed in the game and, and see what the game is for what it is, uh, then, you know, that's what it's all about. But uh, as far as this book is concerned, uh, Yu Suzuki Game Works, it, I think it's a must-have if you if if you collect uh, you know Japanese Dreamcast stuff. You know, uh, this is kind of a 
you know, I, I don't know. It's kind of a rare item. You can easily burn games, and I, I recommend doing it because it's kind of ridiculous to... I don't know. It's like, if you can do something cheap, do it, you know? But, um, yeah, uh, th this this game, this book, Yu Suzuki Game Works, Volume 1. I don't think there was ever a Volume 2. The Dreamcast is kind of home to uh, some game game franchises. Like, there's Floygan Brothers Episode 1, and there was never an Episode 2. So, that's kind of funny and cool. Uh, yeah, like, there was, like, History of the World Part 1, and there was never a History of the World Part 2. <laughs> I got a video up right now. It's like a karaoke unit part one. And I was just thinking about just leaving it and hanging. You know what I mean? But um, I'm a man that finishes what he starts. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's take advantage of the sunlight. Let's, uh, let's, let's uh, check out Yu Suzuki Gameworks. Yu Suzuki Game Works. I remember playing Hang On the most. Uh, you know, when I first played it, uh, Shimu when I was a kid, it was around Christmas of 2000 or 2001, something like that. Um, it, yeah, I played Shinmu for Christmas, and I beat the game in about four or five days. Just played it like a banshee. When Shinmu came out, it was not like any game that you've ever played. I don't know why people keep overlooking Shinmu and uh, keep trying to dismiss Shinmu, but the fans of Shinmu are very vocal. And that's a good thing, because Shinmu needs to be defended. I'm using the analog D stick, I'm holding down the right trigger. The analog thumb stick, I mean. See what I mean with the oversteering? You just kind of... It's easy to make a mistake. If you use the D-pad, it locks you into that position, whatever... Um, four or five move sets you are restricted to. I have no idea if you can play this game with a steering wheel. I'm not sure if you could play with it at all. But to have all of these games on one compilation disc, which is basically all of the Shinmu arcade games while you're playing in Shinmu, that's uh, really neat. And this game is addicting. I like Hang On a lot. I also like Turbo. I grew up with a Turbo cabinet and you can't see them anywhere. They're, they're not around anymore, Turbo cabinets. Everybody loves OutRun, right? There's been sequels and stuff. There's also a Super Hang On. I'm not sure if there was any other Hang On or OutRun games that were re released. Passing Breeze, Splash Wave, or Magical Sound Shower. Passing Breeze sounds pretty relaxing. Just fun little arcade games with early 2D trying to be 3D, which is really endearing. Just brings you back to a simpler time, makes you think of just going to restaurants with your family and uh, you know just happen to see a arcade cabinet in the corner and you're like hey can I get a quarter you know and one of your loved ones will give you a quarter and just be like well, here you go have fun you know 
or just uh, visiting arcades when you're a kid and just, you know, having a fistful of quarters. You know, those times are the best times. I miss arcades a lot. They're still around, but they're just, uh, you know, diff it's just different. I remember when soda was like extremely cheap. Like you can go to a local gas station. You can go to a, a grocery store, I mean, and get a a can of soda for just like 20 cents or I mean, I know that sounds ridiculous, but you could probably get it for you know, at least 25 or 50. Like I remember as far back as 25 cents for a can of Coke. Or something. I know I'm not stretching it because there there were discount like um, discount brand sodas that the gas that the grocery store would um, offer. So I remember when you, you know canned drinks were available for way cheaper, way cheaper than what they got now. A dollar fifty for a water. You gotta be kidding me. For a bottle of water is like a dollar fifty. It's crazy that they're asking for like two fifty for a Starbucks drink. You know? Yeah, we're gonna do Space Harrier now. Yeah, it gives you a little um, little information scroll when you uh, first start the game. You can read something about it. That's kind of cool. To the yeah, you can play this in the first Shenmue as well. It's really kind of neat. It's just a kind of a first-person shmup. Everybody loves Space Harrier because it's just so unique and cool. It's got that... Uh, futuristic adventure vibe going for it that's really good and really wholesome too this is just a just an odd weird fantasy game you know it's games like this and uh, you know other games that are pretty sweet like uh, there's something to do with uh, fantasy zone with Opa Opa that's a really good shmup uh, it's a cute em up it's a, a cute sh shmup game and it's this, it's this own genre. It's just like Rainbow Cotton. It's a cute em up genre. And yeah, I was thinking about old gas stations and um, not not gas stations, but arcades and stuff. And um, this is gonna make me sound really old, but I, I remember like chiclet machines where you put a dime in. You would put a, a literal dime, just one dime, and you would get some chiclets. I swear I sound so old, like getting like grocery store cans of soda for a quarter or less. I swear that's that's what things have changed in my lifetime, like a whole lot, a whole lot. It's crazy how things are changing these days. The, the trick right here is you gotta shoot the dragon's head, and he changes colors. If I can get to him, I'm just trying to uh, avoid the. The attacks. Get ready. Yeah, I just hold down the A button. It's probably not the best way to go, but uh, it's the safest way to go. Yeah, it's been a while. Afterburner now. Yeah, there's no audio with the intro screen here. It's a cool looking game. Is that a landing pad? Looks like a giant H. All right, you launch by, it just launches by itself. Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually shooting. Oh, yeah, the right trigger is shoot. 
when you crash and stuff, it's really interesting looking. A button is a missile of some sort. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. So I, I've been doing these videos like crazy and uh, I just kind of want to get some stuff done. I might just keep it to two videos today. Just been going crazy making videos here lately. Right on, last but not least, Power Drift, the only one that you can't play. Well, you can't play Outrun in Shinmu, but. Yeah, Space Harrier, Hang On, and Afterburner, you can, but Power Drift and Outrun, you can't. But Power Drift, not many people have heard about Power Drift. I really haven't. But hey, I, I have access to play Power Drift, so. And you do too, if you burn games. Alright. This one looks very exotic. Oh, I picked the desert one by accident. It picks for you if you're too slow. Oh man, this is crazy. That's cool, when you steer the um, environment kind of moves with you. Wow, this is insane. Wow. Whoa. I can see why they didn't put this in Shenmue because it's just like why most people have not played this, I don't think. Hey, third ain't that bad. You're a little slow to start. All right. There you have it. Yu Suzuki Game Works. It's uh, an old school looking game. Makes me think of being a kid and going to certain arcades and playing Hang On. I remember playing Hang On. And it just brings me back to a more simpler time like I said soda cans for 25 cents like an actual can of soda for a quarter that that you know it's ridiculous how things have gone but um, yeah that's that's just uh, me rambling on yeah, this is a very quality game that power drift game is very intense it's kinda overwhelming but I can see someone getting into that one hang on is really addictive outrun is a classic space harrier is a classic afterburner uh, it's not my cup of tea but i can see how somebody could get into it and it this is a really good compilation of games and it this is a really good homage to yu suzuki you know just this is the man that caused uh, he is directly responsible for a lot of happiness you know, a lot of people grew up playing Hang On and stuff like that. So, um, Shinmu 3 is coming out, like I said. I want to gear up and at least talk about Shinmu a little bit. And, yeah, like uh, playing Shinmu and beating it in four or five days uh, after Christmas 2000 or 2001, that was a really, really good memories there, too. I, I just remember, you know... Just so much about Shinmu, it just kind of brings back the warm and fuzzies when I play Shinmu. So, I guess you either grew up with Shinmu or you didn't. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a good game series, and uh, yeah, <laughs> um, Yu Suzuki Game Works. I give this book, this set, I give this set a ten 
out of 10. And I gave the little demo compilation disc. It's not a demo disc, it's just a compilation disc of, uh, of those games. I give that game a 10 out of 10. I'm going to give everything Shenmue 10 out of 10. So, future heads up there. Thanks for watching, everybody.